Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thank you for spending some time with me today. You know, today I'm over at Palm Harbor Village in Tomball, Texas, and I think I have just found us the biggest triple wide in Texas. This is the Hacienda built by Palm Harbor Homes. Let's go check it out. You know, they say everything in Texas is bigger in Texas, and this home is a perfect example of that. I mean, take a look. My wide angle lens can't even get this whole home in frame, and I am really close to the street. I'll tell you what, this home is absolutely fantastic. Let's take a quick look at the back end of the home. Even more windows, a sliding glass door. This home is huge. This home is from the Vista Ridge series and it's known as the Hacienda 3, built by Palm Harbor Homes. Now this home is a four bed, three and a half bath, and it sits at a whopping 3,012 square feet. The dimensions of this home is a 76 by 41, and the home costs just around $378,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? Now, if you thought the exterior looked huge, wait till you get a load of the inside. You know, walking in, what I'm seeing so far is a huge home. We've got seven and a half foot sidewalls vaulted up to about nine foot in the center. This living room right here, or the great room, is 19 feet, one inches by 27 feet. That is absolutely huge for a for a living room or a great room of any size and look at that setup over here but hey before we go any further do me a favor and drop me a like on this video and if you haven't done so yet hit that subscribe button and that notification bell that way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you'll be able to follow along with me as I capture these home tours across the US and right back to this entertainment area here I mean look at that fireplace look at that beautiful design of the wall. I don't even know what material that is, but I like that. And then all your connections right there are going straight through. So they're already set up for like your HDMI and your power. It even has a string you can pull through. That is very com convenient. And now spinning around, taking a look at this great room and this living room. This is huge. And if you look up, I see those registers are on the ceiling, which is of course a huge bonus and now you know we're making our way to the dining room area and this is another nice big spacious area this is 11 feet 6 inches by 13 feet and if you have a big family or or if you want to just host thanksgiving or christmas this home is the one i mean that room right there you can just expand and have such a big dining room and then talking about all of that let's just take a look at this kitchen this kitchen is nice I am absolutely digging it. One, you had an eat-in counter on the other side, which sits about four. You have this dual sink right here with a pull-down faucet. I do like the um, dark colored countertops and the gray cupboards. I mean, and I like the way this, this kitchen is. It's pretty much like the heart of the home, which is cool. And I'm digging that backsplash behind the stove. I like that blue color. It really pops in this kitchen. Um, as we look around, you see we are looking at the uh, stainless steel appliance package. We have the um, you know, microwave and convection oven up top with your oven down below. Um, a nice big Whirlpool refrigerator and plenty of storage space. And you know, not only do I like that blue tile, I mean, look at that white subway tile across the kitchen. That is a nice um, that is just, I like that style. I like the color. I like the contrast. That's what I'm trying to say, the contrast of colors. So let's take a look in here and opening it up, what I see are some nice shelves, good quality construction. Um, they're not soft clothes right there. And like I said, plenty of space, plenty of room. Um, we have a lot of power outlets throughout this kitchen, which is convenient. And the drawers, nice. They're Pretty big in space and uh, nice and solid, I would definitely have to say. Looking at this stove, you have your glass top stove, which is pretty nice. Pretty darn standard nowadays, I'll tell you what. And then, take a look at this pantry. We've got three shelves, wooden shelves, nice, good, and strong, and plenty of room to store um, all of your goods. I like that right there. That's nice and convenient, you know what I mean? Right onto the right-hand side of your stove. Oop, I gotta grab something. 
there it is. I do like the island in the middle. It's not too big, not too cumbersome. Um, and it actually, it's kind of nice because you can kind of transition, you know, I mean, from, from spot to spot in the kitchen, which is really cool. And now let's keep on moving. Look at the right side of this house. This home is big. Um, and here is your half bath. This is right off of the dining room area and your kitchen. Nice, big, spacious um, vanity there. Nice, big mirror. Great lighting. Um, it's not, you know, this, this, this half bath isn't really an afterthought. It's actually a good placed, well thought out bathroom in my, in my opinion. Um, and you know, like that says, you know, share this video, help us, help us get this out to more people so they can check out all of these home tours and, and, and see these great, great homes. Um, walking into this first guest room, you know, we have three guest rooms and a, a primary. This guest room is 13 feet by 12 feet 7 inches and we're going to walk in and take a look at the um, the closet here we've got a door right there which is, makes it convenient and of course you have your wooden uh, shelf and coat rod the cool thing about this bedroom is it also has an attached bath so we're going to take a look at that right now walking in here we have a single vanity pretty much almost set up like the uh, like the half bath there nice style and design same mirror great lighting um, and this is just a great bonus you know um, for the rooms here um, usually you don't have this you know it's almost kind of like a second master which is pretty cool and these are oversized tubs these are just a tad bigger than the normal 30 by 60 and this is a, a surround um, shower tub combo which makes it convenient no moisture any issues kind of coming in uh, going out etc etc and if you take a look at the textures of the walls as we go through here you'll see it's tape and texture throughout um, we are not chintzing on a home like this this is really nice um, like I said you know we have seven and a half foot side walls on the outside that vault up through the house which is pretty cool pretty nice and that is our first uh, guest room and now we're gonna walk through but you know this home has a lot of um, options features and things that you could change when behind this door we have our air conditioning unit so that's where that is but like I was saying there's a lot of options a lot of features like in the primary one we get there you'll see you can actually change your um, your your primary bath for for a porch you know there's, there's a lot of things you can do but to learn about that there's a link in the description below click on that it'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can take a 3D tour, see some photos, um, see some more video, and then most importantly, get pricing directly from a retailer near you. Palm Harbor is across the U.S. and most locations, and this floor plan can be yours wherever you're at. I love that archway, by the way. Um, and like I, I, I tell everybody, you know what, the prices um, quoted here are the prices here in Texas, depending on where you're at, that can be different. So click on that and learn more. And now back to this beautiful home. We are in the family room right here which is 16 feet 11 inches by 13 feet and it is a nice space right off of the uh, the front door you know for family for friends the game room you know what I mean um, electronics room what would you do with with this area let me know in the comments below personally I would make it my video game area and room and possibly even just a half office you know what I mean to spend time with the kids so that's really cool but walking through this house we're gonna t check out the uh, the second guest room the uh, second guest room size is exactly the same size as the last one that's one thing that's cool about this home is all of the all of the guest rooms are the exact same size so if you do have little ones they're not gonna fight except maybe for that extra bath over there in that other room so this is 12 feet 7 inches by 13 feet this has a little bigger of a closet a little more kind of like a semi walk-in closet it's looking really nice though good and spacious the carpet in this home I'm loving it it's nice squishy <laughs> um, it's not you know you don't feel the floor I don't feel any soft spots in this home this is a beautiful home um, and if you're in the Tomball area come and check it out in person I'll tell you what or hey click on that link and come see one of these in person and now we are in a, the uh, the guest bath here and that is the same size uh, tub as the other one a little bigger than that normal 30 by 60 um, nice construction there tape and texture on those walls as you can see you see the towel rack there and then spinning around you've got your uh, nice vanity here with a drawer bank of uh, three drawers which is again very convenient um, and now let's spin around and go off into the next area that we're going to check out. And hey, remember, 
leave us a like that always helps out the channel it helps us get these videos to more people so please do that and now we're checking out the last guest room and the third guest room here again it's 13 feet by 12 feet 7 inches two big windows letting that natural light in and this one has a little bigger of a closet with the um, the two doors that open up. We'll take a look at that in a minute. But I mean, just these bedrooms. I mean, yeah, at, at 13 feet by 12 feet, these are some big, huge bedrooms. But almost every single room in this home is huge. So you know, like I said, it's Texas sized for sure. But taking a look here, nice little walk-in, plenty of storage, plenty of space, and good construction on those on those shelves and and uh, coat rods there. So that's really nice. Now let's keep on trucking through this beautiful home. Um, I think our next stop is the utility room. Let's come on in, take a look at that. And uh, coming on in, what I do like is this is a nice big locker here. You know, you have uh, hooks for like three coats, um, storage up top, seating. You could probably have, you know, two, three little ones sitting there getting ready in the morning or, you know, uh, whatever you need to do right there. But that's a nice little spot. And then of course, you have plenty of room for your side by side. And we're gonna spin around here. There is your electrical panel. You have a little bit of room for maybe a fridge or a freezer. Um, right about there your choice and then right behind this door now this house is so big that you have two air conditioning units two HVAC units in this home so that is that tells you how big it is right 3,012 square feet you should have enough um, power to uh, push through the home with those two air conditioning units now that right there is these two screws there's two underneath um, that is where your water access is so right behind those shelves is where your water access is it's nicely hidden but it is a little bit inconvenient to get to so um, that is where that is um, what do you guys think about this home so far you know I'm digging it it's huge it's big it'd be perfect for my family of five maybe a little too big for my family of five but um, this home is just absolutely gorgeous let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below that would be rad thank you and then we're gonna come over through here take a look I mean just the flow of this home I'm loving it I like it it you know you kind of just walk on through just kind of go with the flow and now we're gonna take check out the uh, primary area now the first area that we're gonna walk in is the primary retreat um, office area if you will the size of this room is um, 12 feet 9 inches by 13 feet and that leads up right into your primary so this is like a great spot like for me you know being always on the road coming home this would be a great home office for me and then you know I mean right off of the bedroom I can go take a nap if you know once I'm finally done so taking a look at the primary room here walking and the room here is 20 feet by 13 feet 7 inches that bed frame right there is a king size bed so that tells you how much room you have in this room um, which is which is great and like I said the vaulted ceilings you have plenty of head space there you have plenty of room over here to the right of the room if you wanted to do anything and then of course, let's not forget the walk-in closet. Big, nice, spacious, plenty of room. Plenty of room. What do you guys think? Take a look at that. That is a huge walk-in closet. Jeez. I don't think I even own enough to fill up this room. That's just me. Well, maybe my gear. My gear could fit in this room. But that's about it so you know and now we're walking through the uh, primary we're gonna go check out the uh, primary bath right now and see what this is all about and the, again it's another huge big room so walking into the left hand side you see a nice single vanity here with some storage on the left hand side and a mirror there spin it around we have a nice beautiful soaker tub sitting right in the middle of the uh, the bathroom which is nice and then and then of course let's spin on over here and take a look at the other side I guess you could say this is her side you know what I mean if you want to go his and hers because you have a makeup area there even more room more storage really nice really nice and then take a look at that shower that shower has a nice rain shower head and we're gonna take a look little better look at the inside of the soaker tub plenty of space plenty of niceness right there I would have to say and then right next to that we have 
your commode closet or uh, that is where your toilet is situated it's in its own little spot which is nice I do like the backsplash on these uh, on these vanities because they have the blue color which kind of correlates with the uh, the kitchen color there which is really nice now let's check out the primary closet see I love this little built-in here you have some more shelving um, storage there you have some some coat rods and everything else plenty plenty of storage capabilities here which is rather nice what do you think of that um, walk-in closet that had plenty of space and let's keep going and take a look at um, these even more storage right on over here this looks to be more of a linen closet uh, plenty of again plenty of space plenty of storage and that is really nice I do like the gray color in the home that is complimentary it's really cool um, it's nice and then we're gonna spin around and take a look at the shower the shower is really cool we have a, uh, a sit down area right there a small lip to get in and out and then right up here we have a nice rain shower head and then a pull off little uh, wand so that is nice but this shower is 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 I like it that's all I have to say is I like it so that is a perfect primary bath in my opinion what do you guys say let me know let me know but this was the hacienda this home is absolutely huge there's only a few homes that I've done that are bigger than this one um, and I hope to find those again so we can kind of wrap them up and do the best of the biggest but this home was absolutely huge absolutely gorgeous it's built by Palm Harbor Homes this one is located in Tomball Texas um, at the Palm Harbor Village I hope you enjoyed the home tour and I hope to see you again wherever that home tour is going to be but of course remember in the meantime live smarter choose manufactured and travel easy see you next time everyone